Welcome back to some more War on the Sea uh, Pacific Theater Mod. This is uh, part 97, if I'm correctly saying that. Let's get right into it. Um, I have played a few days to get through some drudgery, if you will. Um, as you see, uh, Tarawa has finally been taken over by us, which is fine. Uh, we need to take troops off of this uh, and probably some engineering as well because we don't plan on doing anything more with that um, but we don't need these troops here um, so we'll think about that later on <coughs> when we get replenished maybe uh, that will be a supply run we'll do um, just to recap we've gone over Kenning has been bombarded to nothing we still have this uh, Pompeii defensive group here um, with troops, some troops, not enough to do anything. These guys are coming in and will invade. We'll invade with what we have here, I believe. So we're still low on troops here. I don't think we have enough to take over this, this base. 300. That's 450. And 600, 750. Yeah, under a thousand troops is not going to take over this base. But um, we'll get there eventually. We're not in a rush. Uh, it's all part of the process. We have seen a couple things. We've seen a carrier up here uh, that we dreadfully, the halibut, dreadfully uh, used all of her torpedoes and didn't do anything to it, uh, which is kind of bad. So she's going to go rearm. Finback is waiting if they continue on, which they should. She may catch her. Um, you may want to send out a scout. So let's uh, see if we have a scout that can do something. Um, or we're just going to go straight up this route here and see if we catch her. Um, well, that's not going to work at all, is it? So let's get this out of the way so we can see better. Okay, so how far do we got? 702. That's about as far as we can go. So we'll do that once or twice and uh, see what we come up with. Um, we have bombarded uh, Ambion down to nothing. Uh, we did land a few troops, um, but we're low on everything. Uh, supplies is just dreadful. Uh, so we should have this group coming in with uh, a bunch of supplies and troops. Um, again, when we take over a base, we want to make it a little one like we did here, so it can defend itself somewhat. Um, this will make another run back for supplies as well. Uh, we'll do that. Port Moresby is pretty stacked. We like it like that. Um, we're not upping these at all anymore, I don't think. Uh, but we will put out some air. Let's send you guys over and get you over the lay defense force get you over there do your thing um, because of our proximity to this base there's no airfield here uh, but because we've invaded we're getting inundated with uh, aircraft from these two locations um, so we have to make sure that the wasp puts up her cap. If I don't do this first thing in the morning, we're at risk uh, to have some really bad scenarios happen, and we don't want that. So we're gonna do that for both of these groups. Saratoga's using her aircraft for for the Port Moresby Defense Group. All 
Alright. So let's see what we got. Um, and I imagine we'll get hit a couple times there. And because you're coming in, why don't you put up your aircraft as well? I don't want anybody to get caught. Um, let's get the ball rolling here. So we do not have any um, cap here, which is a risk. Uh, but what we will do is we will put up some scouts. And we want them to cover this kind of thing. put up um, our subgroup sub defense so you guys keep doing that so that's some aircraft. Uh, we are out of range from anything that could assist us, which is fine, because as soon as uh, we do take this base over, eventually, when you get there, uh, hopefully that will be enough. Um, okay, so this is what I've been seeing repeatedly over and over and over again. Um, it's just Right now they send, they don't have a lot because of where they're sending them from. So let's just go in and look. Uh, so what I've been doing is the first thing I've been doing is start and then I do this. And then make sure we're in a three. Form up. That changes the position of all the ships. They come in closer. And then uh, speed up. Just do that. Um, now this includes all the aircraft from the two groups. So we have ships here, and we have our ships here. This is where the carrier is. And they are of course right over the aircraft carrier that you can't see. They don't spawn in the ships more than 10. So let's just go from here and then we'll just look and see what happens. So these are bomber fighter bombers, and um, they're about to get smoked by the uh, by the fighters that you see off in the distance. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. See how the ships turn in. It's to maximize AAA. We were out for sub sub reasons, and now we're in close for <coughs> AAA reasons. And because they're fighters, they're gonna they're gonna dive away and stuff. Got all of them. So let's retreat out. Don't want to spend more time in there than we have to. 
after this engagement and these two bases are done, we still have some time. This group here is going to be going all the way in here, Copang. Uh, it's one of the requirements for this. Where is it? Copang, right here. So these are all the places we have to, to take control of. So there's a lot of them, but uh, this guy's taking forever to get down here. He came from Midway. Um, he's coming with a bunch of troops, bunch of supplies, some fuel. Put engineering and engineering, so he can level one airfield himself as well. Uh, so once this guy gets and drops off, we will retreat go rearm over at Port Moresby and then come over here and take uh, that with um, with this supply grouping that I've named Copang Supply. So let's get the ball rolling still. Yeah, like I said, this is a regular thing that's going to happen. So it went from a beautiful day to uh, still a hazy day. Um, we are going to form up. I don't like having the carrier back here by itself. Um, so maybe I need to reevaluate this uh, formation, but I'd rather be protected in front than anything. So what's the status? What do we got? We have just fighters. guys bombers torpedo planes and they're so far off so this is where the other ship was um, of course they don't show up um, but yeah we have hey guys it's, you maybe want to go after this guy So we're going to be very well protected. Um, what are you going after, number six? What's this guy doing, man? How many aircraft we got left? One remaining. Let's see how long it takes for this guy to get taken care of. He's about to meet a world of pain. That'll do it for you, my friend. That's it, we're gonna retreat out. And we'll see what the next engagement gives us. Um, yeah, another one of these.
sorts of nasty missions I wouldn't want to be you know if they if anybody survived this and, ra and ran away you would think they would report back and say they have we need more we can't send in six aircraft How about you, man? But I would think I'd pick the closest thing, and especially when you got aircraft behind you. That might be everybody. Now we got a few more. Let's see how many. Two more. You guys want to chase him, huh? Oh, he does. So how's everybody doing today? Everybody getting ready for a big weekend? Or some kind of weekend? I got really nothing planned, but uh, that's fine. It's you, bro. I laid down the trigger, but it was yours. There you go, it was yours. Come on. That's you. There you go, bro. Good shooting, Tex. All right, I think that's everybody. No, one more. Where are you? Until we, let's see if we got anything coming in. We have you. You'll be our next guy, I think. How the heck? Got here. Um, you got anything we can send out from here? Not really. Got out here. What are you guys doing, Mitchells? Um, can you make it? Yeah. Let's get you over here, buddy. Let's see if we can uh, make these guys feel the pain. <clears throat> How about you? You got anything you can send? 
Um, it's a distance here. 309. I think we can do uh, torpedoes. Starting to see more aircraft carriers come out. Um, he's a light, but hey, we'll, we'll take light, right? Um, what else do we got that we can send? Scare him a little bit. Um, I don't think I want to. Well, let's change the course a little bit and see if we can <coughs> follow him in. See if that gives us anything. I'm gonna ignore that, so we'll just follow him. Okay. You're going that way, are you? This is really the one that will do the job if anything. Um, do you guys want to use your bombs maybe? Go do that. You could get them all just shot down, who knows. Almost let this one milk out, so that was not a, the best choice. <clears throat> so, what are we going to do with these guys? That's not a light carrier. That is a um, Yamato. So we are going to um, have these guys go up. And we want them to turn to the right. you guys, <coughs> excuse me, let's get you on, on task here. And I think we're just going to send them in.
Nice hits. Unfortunately, that's gonna happen. <coughs> See what kind of uh, damage we put on this guy. He got hit pretty hard, but I don't think it did anything to him. Let's see what the report is. Minor. And we get he, we hit him with one, two, three, four, five, six bombs. Yeah. Um, the difference between a light carrier and a battleship, the strongest battleship uh, in the game, I think, um, is pretty, pretty drastic. So there's not much we can do over here. Um, we're going to send these guys home. I don't think he's even got a fire. Yeah, so we're just going to leave. So let's retreat out. And if we go back here, we're going to take this one out. And under here, we're going to put... Yamato. That's what that is. And she's heading this way. So, you guys, RTB. Um, you guys, I want you to follow, so you're going to follow, as long as you can, what are you doing, you're going home, fine, uh, can we take on that group? <coughs> Yeah, probably. Um, should we? Sure, let's try it. So that scout plane is going to, here we go, what are you, B-17s, right? Yeah, Six, four, 1600 APs, what will that do to this guy? And then what are you, Catalinas, right, with torpedoes? So we're going to go in tactical. We're going to hit him immediately. We're not going to uh, fuss around. Turn, boys. <clears throat> Is this the best thing? I don't know. I tend to be a little bit uh, more open about. 
land-based aircraft with regard to uh, ship-based aircraft because they get replenished easier. Let's get some hits, boys. didn't look like four. That looked like eight bombs. There's four there. Four there, but over here. Oh, well, it's because they're two aircraft so close to each other. Okay. guys are going to get shot down. Guess we don't really need to watch them, do we? Not the greatest drop. I don't know why it reverts back like that. All but one, and we still may lose this one. So again, how many hits do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hits. Seven hits. And what kind of damage do we put on that guy? He's at heavy now, at least. But he's not—he's not, he's not uh, burning. He's uh, not—he's uh, still at 24 knots. No flooding. Of course, the B-17 gets shut down. All right, retreat. So, these guys are just gonna go in and get shot down if we're not careful. But let's see what we what happens. Still in the morning. Uh, we have what looks like a cargo ship. Let's begin. Uh, command points are pretty important, so we're going to do that. Let's get our periscope up. Wow. Looks a little off, doesn't he? So we are going to go straight at him. Um, this direction.
direction. What's our torque status? So we can use two from the bow. That's what we're gonna do. Because full load is six, we got eight, so let's use two torpedoes on them. We're gonna get up close and personal on them. Hopefully that will work in our favor. Well, that's the uh, sea state. Six, pretty rough. We are going to uh, put our scope down for now and speed up, get closer. Kind of want to go more direct route. We could use our gun. I'm not a big fan of using our gun during the daytime, plus we don't have many rounds. <coughs> I'd rather use that in a nighttime engagement. All sorts of activity going on today, huh? Look at this. trying to speed things up a little bit. <clears throat> I think earlier this morning I didn't record, but we had probably, I don't know. I think I went through five days, maybe three days, I don't know. I have to look. We're gonna up real close to this guy, and um, if we have to surface to dump torpedoes, we will. This uh, ship uh, does not have any guns on it, no anti-aircraft, no sonar. It is an old cruise liner that they designated uh, multiple things. It looks like a medical ship, but it's probably a troop transport. Um, Yeah, that's kind of the thing. So let's see what our torps are looking at. We get this to zero, we're going to shoot. And scope to verify. Ninety-nine percent. See what that does for us. You would think ninety-nine percent solution to hit. It would hit, right? Um, I would be surprised if we miss. But let's put the scope down, and we're going to turn. actually going to go below the surface so they can't see our little spout and we're going to watch these torpedoes come in so she's rocking and rolling it looked like she was bow heavy she's probably got a bunch of supplies on her or troops so you can see the torpedoes the way the uh, torpedo was set up, see the red dot up here when you're looking? The red dot? <laughs> I'm not really sure how to interpret that. I think that red dot has to be in that, uh, that tan gray 20-30% pie shape there. And this looks like they're going to go ahead of uh, the ship. See where they are right here. So if he uh, continues on, maybe we'll get a hit. But we may miss. And it 
kind of looks like we might miss. Because I know it looks like these guys are going fast. These guys are going 30 knots. This guy's going 17. Oh, we might hit. We need both of them to hit for this guy to sink, though. What kind of damage does that do to this guy? Critical heavy, that should do it. He's gonna sink. Um, as you see the speed going down to seven, six. So we're gonna cut in front of him. And if we gotta put a couple in him to uh, send him over, we will. See the screws are coming out of the water and everything. Yeah, he's got quite the lean. Yeah, he's toast. And that's what we say to that guy. Adios. With that, let's do a torpedo check. We have six in the front and a full complement in the back. Um, let's treat out. One command point, we'll take it. We still haven't been resupplied. See, I emptied this out pretty much, and that looked pretty ugly. doing Ambion. We're hurting on supplies pretty bad. We need you to get in there boss. Are you kidding me? I don't think we'll catch him, but, and Catalina, we missed your opportunity, so you're going home. Uh, we lost all these guys. guys and go still during the day we could probably take care of this let's see if we can uh, pin that and you're gonna go away so if he goes this way we're not too worried about it. We haven't even attempted to take that over. Um, <clears throat> so we do go north of him, which we probably won't catch him because he's probably very fast. Um, see what direction he's going. Yeah, we're not going to catch him. That's for sure. But the drum, on the other hand, May just catch him. So we want to do one of these. And hopefully he'll run right into us. And you are going to chase. Because why not? We haven't had a surface engagement. And for the last remaining... Uh, So, drum. I 
Let's see if we can get on online with this dude. Mariners. You're in, so let's go tactical for you. Now these guys are slow and big and vulnerable, so we want to kind of get them higher. Let's put them higher. She's still trucking along. So this is the Shinano. It's unfortunate it doesn't name it what you have over here, but good enough. So let's see where we, what altitude we can get these guys at. I think I want to change their formation. Let's go to box. I want them to be at different altitudes so that they're harder to uh, hit. Everybody open up their bomb bays. We're gonna see if we can get close to 6,000. Worried about the scout plane. We do kind of want to be uh, parallel with them when we make our turn. We're kind of slow to do that. He maneuvers better than us. Now if he runs and leaves the destroyers in the dust, we might have a better angle. So that's what we're gonna do. rather not lose an aircraft before uh, we hit the attack button. But we're going to get what we can get, I guess. might be the end of their battleships. This is the last one. I know a lot of people probably don't like to have all this air engagements. But oh really? That's a bad move, why they decided to separate like that. 
Um, just bad, bad call on their part. So once we get even, I'm going to hit the attack button. somewhat in formation. See what kind of hits we get. So I believe we have five aircraft with four 1,000 pound bombs AP. Get all the AAA going up. Come on, boys, let's release. Get some hits. No, that doesn't do it, boys. It's a little better. Is that all you got for me? So, what did we do to this guy? What do you think we did to uh, the ship? Um, looks like there's a couple fires, maybe. Any flooding? Let's see. No flooding, jeez. What did I say about these guys being tough? So. Let's do some education here. Um. Mariners, what do you got for bombs? So we use the four 1,000 pound. They can go through seven inches of armor. And that is outside of the 1600s. That's the best we got. So it was either 3,200 or 4,000 pounds of AP bombs. But these go through a little bit more half an inch of armor. So if we go to um, ships, And we look at the Yamato, and we say, uh, so deck 15 inches. It's only half of that. That's why we're not getting any flooding on this ship. Um, and torpedoes, in other words, the belt is 16.1. So. Let's say we go to these mariners again and look at the torpedoes. Uh, it doesn't tell you how much damage they do in armor. But yeah, this this uh, aircraft does not do it for us. Um, B-17s. So let's look at them. What do they got? They can go. No, 7.6, that's all they got. What about... What about the British? It's not going to do anything for us. Okay, two Bs. Oh. Swordfish? Yeah. Nope. Um.
I don't even know where these guys are located, but what do they have on them? 7.6, 1600. So really bombing doesn't do it for the model class. We have to be ships or something. But she's heading 181, which I'm sorry to say, looks like she's heading towards us, kind of. So let's see if we can uh, determine that. So, so from here, which way is 181? That way. Um, so we want to kind of see if we can catch him. Not very likely, but let's see what we can do. Um, we maybe want to see if we got something we can send out at her. Something to spot. Maybe we'll spot her and be able to catch her. Mariners, you guys can go home. Now there's a time factor with these ships. Um, She may be just gone. We might get lucky. It's after dark now, though. There was a glitchy glitch right there. So we're going to go back because we have to protect this base. So let's do that. All right, we have supplies inbound. Not you. Uh, can you unload? Can. What's it look like? A little bit better. Um, you need to put up your aircraft, please. And Port Moresby. And we'll go through this routine again here. good for the day uh, and you need to get out um, what do we got going over here uh, you're coming in right yeah so you guys need to go back to here
get more supplies, because that's what we need. Yeah. guys dropped off so you're trying to rearm so manage cargo we're gonna go heavy supplies on this one so that's an awful lot of supplies but um, that's what we're going to do. Uh, we already have what we need to do a airfield here, so I'm not going to go any, do any more of that, but let's get you going. And after you get there, after you drop off, hopefully we'll have this base. Hopefully. You're our next guy here that's moving in. All right, you get you were going in. Um, you're coming from Peleliu, this aircraft. So begin, start, and uh, scout planes. I'm sorry, we don't like to just throw you away. Do a quick little look. And we're going to retreat. And we're going to send him home. So our first engagement over here in this uh, chaos. Let's do another quick check here. I'll follow out some fires. Yeah, see, if you have a lot of troops and less supplies, the supplies dwindle quicker. So you basically waste supplies. So let's see what we got. CFR 16. Jeez. So again, we have the supply group, we have the defense group, and we have the carrier group. Uh, but only 10 ships show up at a time, so not 30, which I think we have 10, 10, and 10. So. Let's get these guys grouped up so that they can somewhat defend themselves. And then let's pick up this guy. Let's see what we got coming after us. There's a couple of these dudes. You know, we have 16 fighters. They should be able to take these guys out on this beautiful morning. That just looks ugly coming at you. They'll turn. Yeah. I didn't know that they had animations for these guns back here. That's pretty awesome. See how they move up? Aw, oh, that sucks. Come on, boys. It's all you, buddy. So one aircraft off of our light carrier. Both aircrafts shot down, so we're good to go. So let's retreat out. And there'll be more over here, I imagine. Yeah. So go to begin. And we're 
do the same thing we did before. We're going to say start, and then we're going to form these guys up. Have them speed up a little bit, if they can. And these guys are going to get shot down. But they will go into uh, defensive mode. Let's look at one of these guys. Let's be you. Like I said. It's almost that almost like these guys are too fast to make maneuvering possible. you boy. There you go. Shoot. Trigger. Trigger. Shoot. Shoot. That's all we say about you. So let's retreat out. see what else we got planned. Um, you guys ready to drop off yet? You guys are going to unload as soon as that happens, so let's go in as well. See, I like that organization there. See, 2170 troops, but more supplies. Keep saying that again and again. Uh, you know, it'll work or it won't. So, let's see what we got here. Saratoga, start. And let's be. guy. Looks like it's torpedo planes, that's why we're rushing down. than enough aircraft in the area to, to handle this. I don't even know what we're looking at, looking at. So it looks like we have some torpedo planes. And this guy is looking to get chopped up. about these 
guys, please? Anybody go after these two planes? Pretty lucky with that. Um, yeah, yeah, you're fine. Just this guy remaining. And hopefully, we'll get somebody to shoot him down. Turn that down a little bit. to shoot any time there boss there you go nice job saving the fleet my friend actually I think it was you Alright, that's all we got on these. Um, let's get out of here. Yeah, these kind of engagements, they, they kind of like uh, slow down the progress, you know. Um, we're going to go to the next morning and then we're going to call this video an end. Uh, but that's what we got going on. What do we do here? So halfway, not bad. I'm okay with that. You guys, I need you to go that's you, right? Yeah. We want you to go not there. We want you to go here. Yeah. So back up here and get supplies and troops like you did the last time. That's what we want. Nice even number. And it looks like the drum was unsuccessful. Uh, we're going to change their course to be a little bit more judicial for this area. Do that. And Sarong. Okay, so here's the thing. What do we want to send up? Um, I guess we could send up both of these six aircraft, but it could be bad because uh, it's time you go that way. And then let's get up the other aircraft as well. Corsairs. And we're going to have them follow the Wildcats. No. The Hellcats. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Let's go that way. See if they follow. Not. Yeah. 
Yeah, does not look like it's going to be resolved. So we're going to RTB this guy. And we're going to RTB this guy. So go here. And we got more aircraft coming in. Um, just nature of the beast. So again, you guys need to form up. And then go take care of these guys, please. So let's see if uh, these guys are going after the proper aircraft. Number two, two, two. Everybody going for number two? Nobody staying up? Yeah, because these are the dangerous ones. These are the ones that uh, they like to uh, drop big bombs on our, our ships. Yeah, that's an eight, eight, hundred kilogram bomb. A lot of damage. And all these guys are down there. There we go. One more guy to be scary about. Now you guys can go play with the torpedo planes if you want. Are they done already? focus on the ship's formations for this quick one. And as you see, these are just... Yeah, they're just fighters, so they're going to take a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's focus on you. See how the ships are turning in? Because my default is three column at 750 right there when we go in engagements it defaults back to 500 but to get to put them in that formation you have to highlight everybody and then say form up and uh, they follow what the current orders are that's how you get that to happen so too many aircraft. There's an awful lot of them there. Uh, let's see what we got. Ports. She was only eight aircraft. Four have been shot down already. Yeah, when they want to drop their 50 kilogram bombs, they go suicidal. When you have the ships in closer, the AAA is more effective. Um, if you're being attacked by torpedoes, then it gets to be a little bit crazier. Six, two more left. 
That's it, I don't see any more. Yeah, eight of eight, let's get out. Okay, not great. Let's see how we're down to 790 supplies now. Okay, when you're imbalanced, you burn out those. It just went from 790 to 301, right? In that little click of a moment. <laughs> yeah. So we need to get these guys up here quick. Status over here. Um, yeah, you wanted to unload, didn't you? Yeah. So we're a little bit more imbalanced here, but I'm okay with that um, for now. Let's see what it looks like. A little more than halfway. You're going back to get more supplies. You got anything else coming in? I think we need to divert. Um, now, by the time you get here, you'll be here. So we're gonna leave you doing that. Um, the other thing is, we just got resupplied. <laughs> so this is our standard weekly, basically supply: 4,000 troops and 9,600 supplies. The reason for that. And we've been talking about it a couple times in this playthrough is you need more supplies than you do troops that's why they don't give you more troops than they do supplies so you want to kind of think about that when invading a location um, what are some of the things that we need to worry about now dockyard Okay, we, our last, the Hornet is going to be in for almost a month, uh, I think it was 34 days, so it hasn't been that long that she's been under repair. Crown Colony Light Cruiser I'm not too concerned about, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we have imbalance in some of these locations. Um, Port Moresby being one, uh, way more troops than we do supplies. Uh, we need to start rectifying that. Anywhere where you have more troops than you do supplies, it means that I'm doing something wrong. Truck, the same way. You're fine. Don't worry about that as much. Ambien, you're way out of balance. So is Sarong. Kevin, you're you're out of balance as well, but not by much. So, um, rules. We're still at 79. We'll go to 80 as soon as we take. As soon as we take um, Ambien. We can click that and make airfield. We'll have uh, a location and points put us at 81, I think. So, with wrong the way it is, we need to dump the supplies, and then I think we need to uh, take the troops somewhere else. So we're going to have 1840, let's say 32, 32 plus 2 is 3400, 
3,400 supplies. Will that even us out or no? 34? No, it won't. So we're going to take off some, some troops here. It may seem broken, but it, it, I think as, loon, as soon as we have more supplies than we do troops, we won't deplete our supplies as quickly. Um, so that's a thing. Let's try and get to the next day. We've got a lot of frozen stuff here. TB. Let's look for aircraft that are stuck. Just looking for stuck aircraft. Um, see if there's things not moving. No, I don't see any. So we're at dark time. Again, with Sarong, we want to put on troops and or put on supplies and take off troops. All right, so let's dump everything, and then we'll take off what we want. Okay, so we need to take about 3,000 troops off. So let's do... Okay. And then because we're taking off, uh, we're going to continue and take off some of that. Take off a little more. Yeah, that's fine. A little more. Yeah, good. Okay, so we're going to take these and we're going to head... Um, over here to Ambion. Ambion needs supplies, not so much troops. Because of the distance is why we're doing them, uh, sending them there. All right, but that's uh, the day is complete. We're almost an hour and a half, and uh, we did a lot of stuff today. I think we didn't sink anything. Um, let's look at uh, the enemy losses because I did take care of some things off video. Um, so let's look at like the last couple of days. Okay, so we know we did this hospital ship. We did run into a Shikaku off camera that I sunk, um, and a tile carrier, I believe, and a supply ship, Yugi mode destroyer. So I think that's all we did. I don't know, maybe a couple destroyers also went down. I can't remember. Maybe they're from the 27th. Yeah, I don't know, somewhere around there. But. That's where we are. We took out a couple carriers. Um, pretty pitiful. They were escorted by destroyers. It was only six ships, and the center center ship was a carrier. In fact, the first engagement, we saw another carrier that I missed, and the reason why I missed it was because it was a nighttime sub attack, and the uh, because I couldn't see the. Uh, grouping I sent my torpedoes after destroyers and only after they showed up on well they did show up on radar but I just looked at the formation and I didn't see a carrier and then later on I did see a carrier and that was after I had shot my torpedoes I did two torpedoes at three destroyers or something like that and then 
Once I saw the, the carrier, I went to my rear torpedoes and shot four, and they all missed. So, yeah, it was pretty pitiful. But that's all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Who knows what may come. I may do another video later, but uh, this one's going to take a while to upload. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Leave a comment if you like. Thanks.